In the beginning, someone created programming, probably these people. Eventually, computers got better and programming got better. Somewhere in the middle of this evolution of programming came Code Golf. Code Golf is the art of small code. It's an aggressive, single-minded programming sport which ditches all possible good programming practices in order to follow that one objective as small as possible at any computational or temporal cost. It can get quite exhilarating to use the best and the worst of your favorite language to complete a problem. The problem with Code Golf, like with most other programming challenges, is that it's unfair towards some languages. Something like Pro is a lot less verbose than something like Java, which would never be able to compete with Pro on a level playing field. The general solution to the language disparity problem is making people compete within their own languages, that is, each language has its own leaderboard. However, the satisfaction of winning a challenge fair and square over all other languages still remains. The only way to win a competition against other languages when there are languages which are always going to be near the top, is to create an unfair language yourself. And hence, one man set out to accomplish that goal and made GolfScript. GolfScript doesn't look or feel like any normal language. It uses a stack for all its operations, and all its commands tend to fit in close to a few characters. Your code looks like Base64, but it'll definitely do its job. GolfScript's main ideas paved the way for future golfing languages in the sense that it focused on getting the job done rather than how it's solved, and syntax became minimal and only required when you really, really need it. The most important part of a golfing language, obviously, is that your code must be short. GolfScript may not have been the first time someone shortened an existing language to make it more suited for code golf, but it definitely was one of the first to drive that idea as far as it could. GolfScript dominated code golf questions when it first released, but people weren't going to sit still letting it win. If there can be a shorter form of Ruby for code golf, then why don't I implement one for my own favorite language, say JavaScript, or C, or even Prolog. GolfScript became a trendsetter for a new age of code golf, and it resulted in a boom of new esoteric languages called golfing languages, or simply golflangs. Golfing languages today are highly varied in their goals and specializations, and there are easily over a hundred of them that I've been able to document till date. GolfScript has a full web page dedicated to explaining it and documenting it, but most golfing languages rarely have a fully written tutorial. As golfing languages have improved, they have tended to go closer and closer in resemblance to line noise. It takes a while to learn new things, and in golfing languages it tends to be particularly hard to do so. And that's why I decided to help and step in. I hope this series of tutorials help you in your future golfing endeavors. Ciao!